as the hotel emerges from lockdown, reopening its bars and restaurants is key to driving up occupancy. And there's one area in particular that Nick wants to bring back to life. Afternoon tea served in the Palm Court. Getting afternoon tea up and running in the hotel is crucial. Palm Court is the heart and soul, it's the center of the building. The Langham was the first hotel to serve afternoon tea in 1865. Today, a champagne tea costs 83 pounds per head. Nick is hoping that relaunching it with a nostalgic British menu will satisfy his boss's desire to market the hotel's history. We've got a two-week window to get from the concept to the delivery, which is hugely tight. Um, and it's going to be a lot of blood, sweat and tears and a lot of ideas in the window, out the window and working towards that. But it, it, it is something that we definitely need to make happen because the tea is the vital part of the jigsaw of making the Langham back open and successful. With no time to waste until the big relaunch, Executive pastry chef Andrew Revit is preparing for a tasting with Michelle Roux Jr., who oversees all the Langham's menus. If we take the really strong vanilla cream, pipe it in here, and we put the sponge on, and we see how it's tasting. For me, getting the afternoon tea back in the Langham is key. Not, not just for morale, but for the Langham itself. And all our guests, they want the afternoon tea, this lovely ceremony of coming into such a beautiful building like the Langham. The smell as you walk in, this, this sort of warmth and friendliness, and then you sit down and you just have the most amazing experience. You know, I, I, this was the birthplace of afternoon tea, but we have to get it right. Andrew's been busy experimenting. At the heart of the new afternoon tea concept is a very special set of pastries. We're going on the idea of the classic British biscuits, one that we've liked as kids, or certainly I've liked as kids. And he's very hopeful for his favorite childhood snack, the custard cream. I guess the idea of putting a, a biscuit that we can buy in it, we can buy a 50p pack of these biscuits in the shop. Um, we're putting them on a five-star afternoon tea. Yeah, maybe the concept is a bit crazy. The plate's ready for Chef Roux to taste, and we'll look forward to his comments. There can't be any errors or mistakes. Let's face it, we're putting dishes in front of Michelle Jr. That's big. I mean, we don't want to look like a bunch of idiots and amateurs, so, you know, Andrew's reputation, he wants it to go well. Bring it on, chef. What have we got? So the theme, obviously, is British. Um, so we thought of the idea of playing on the British biscuit. Um, so we've now we've decided from a range of X amount of biscuits, we've got it down to, to four. The chocolate digestive, the ice gem, the fig roll, and finally the custard cream. Um, the custard cream is my favorite biscuit. Um, you can buy a packet for 23p for 15 biscuits, and you can eat them in, in less than half an hour if you're in the mood. I've never done it, but I've <laughs> seen like that. It's all the guys in the kitchen, they do it. Um, but we've poshed up the custard cream. We've Five starred it. I get it. But people from overseas who have never had a chocolate digestive one, mm. how, how are we going to get that message to them? So, on the menu, we've got sketches of the original biscuits. There will be a written paragraph of what we've done, basically. Mm -hmm. But the custard cream is our, I think it's, I think it's the winner of the mm -hmm. selection. Right, I'm going in. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Just the right thickness. My God. Could you give me a packet of them? <laughs> They'll be more expensive than 23p. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mind blowing. Well done, Andrew. Honestly, I think that is, that is a serious winner. Good, thank you. The big challenge today is to make sure everyone understands and leaves this room ready for tomorrow. <laughs> it's the day before the afternoon tea is launched, and staff are coming back 
after nearly six months on furlough for their training day. The best way to train colleagues is that everybody goes and tries and experiences the new menu for themselves, because only once you have tasted it, you smelled it, you sensed it, then can you talk with passion about it. I'm back today after six months of furlough, coming back to be the host of the Palm Court. I've never felt so good. I woke up with the biggest smile on my face. I have a lot to learn today. I wish we had a bit more time. So I am feeling nervous. However, I'm so happy to be back that the nervousness is put to the side to learn as much as I can. Oh my gosh, look who it is. Hello Aww. everyone. We'd love to give you hugs, but we're uh, just an air hug like this. <laughs> come and take a seat, come and take a seat. Andrew and the afternoon tea service team have just one day to learn the new afternoon tea concept. Um, all of the teas that you're going to have on your menu will be single garden teas. So they've all been selected on the basis that they're from one specific origin, but within that origin, one specific garden, and then they have the taste of that garden. So the cakes that we've done, trying to work with less fat when you've eaten it, you're satisfied, but you're not feeling you need to go for a run. Andrew and his colleagues need to memorize the stories, ingredients and origins of all the elements that make up the Langham's afternoon tea. The service team really needs to understand that concept and in their minds work out how do they portray that to the guest. The tea scone is coming with butter from Ivy House Farm, which is golden yellow and the tea scone is square, yeah? So don't mix it up with the round scones that are sweet. Oh, well. They're tasting four sandwiches, two different types of scones, four pastries, a tart, three sparkling wines, and 18 single garden teas. There's nothing worse than going to an establishment and sitting there and someone puts something in front of you and you just ask one simple question and the team member goes, I don't know. You know, we've got to believe in it, we've got to understand it, and we've got to be passionate about it. We are that place that afternoon tea started, so it is vital that we get it right. Tomorrow's a really big day for us, and it is really being upbeat and enthusiastic. Um, even with masks, use your smiles and your raising your eyebrows and all that sort of thing, and really sell this well, okay? exciting day. The home of afternoon tea, reopening again, better, stronger. The Palm Court opening and doing the afternoon tea is like reigniting the life and the soul of the hotel. Yesterday we had a, a number of furlough staff come back. There's a lot to take in. I'm sure some of them didn't sleep last night very much. With Doris coming on board, this is her first experience of our afternoon tea. Very excited to see what will happen this afternoon. Afternoon tea at the Langham, it is crucial to us, it is who we are. The vibe and the buzz it brings back to the hotel it plays an important role to also send a message that we are back up and running and, and we have to get it right. But after six months off work, Andrew is feeling the pressure of serving 55 discerning guests their 83 pound champagne teas. I am feeling a bit nervous today. Trying to remember everything we've learned yesterday, having greeted guests in a long time. It's a lot to take in. In the kitchen, pastry chef Andrew runs a tight ship. On a typical service, his team produces over 500 scones and more than a thousand pastries. Today, the challenge is even greater, as 16 of his pastry chefs are still followed. Normally, overall in the pastry in the hotel, there's 20 chefs, and six of those will be daily working on afternoon tea. In the current climate, we're four for everything in the hotel, um, so it puts pressure on everybody. We're stretched, but we're pretty organized, um, so we're, it, it seems to be under control. Afternoon, everyone. So today, uh, we've got 55 guests coming in for afternoon tea. 
Very important first day afternoon tea. We don't want it to go wrong. We can do this, right? Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you very much, guys. Hello, ladies. Welcome. Two, three. Lovely. I need the way. Oh, the room looks great, doesn't it? This is lovely. So, th is this a new menu for today as well, especially? Yeah. What's your surname? Honey, honey fruit. Honey fruit. Honey fruit. Palm Court host Andrew must present the afternoon tea concept to TV presenter Gloria Hunford and a friend. She got me. I know, but I just I can't speak. I just don't. I, I keep on losing my words, so I, mean, I can't. I can't. Good afternoon. Ah. Good afternoon. Hi. Welcome back to the home of afternoon. Oh, I love course. it. I, thank you. As you can see. We are focusing on a new concept of afternoon tea today. And what we're, is the new concept? We're focusing on the love, the tradition for the British heritage for afternoon tea biscuits. Yes. So we've taken some classic biscuits, we've twisted them a bit, however, they do remain very classic, very British. We have reduced the sugar and fat as much as possible. So we're trying to focus on the taste of these yes. biscuits. Well, I have to course. tell you, I'm a very good guinea pig. I swear. <laughs> you know what, though? I'm going to be so boring, I'm going to have English breakfast tea. Isn't that awful? That's absolutely fine. You're going to have, have green tea. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much. I'll see you later. Thank you Enjoy. very much. Are you coming soon, then, with the food? I will be back soon with the food. <laughs> you. you can see that I'm anxious, yeah. Exactly. Thank you. Lovely. Yeah, I've got two pastries away on 202, please. 104 pastries are ready. Here we go, 104. Hey, Stefano, oh, you come with goodies. Oh. You know how to tempt the ladies, don't you? Wow. wow. Lovely. Oh, they're so delicate looking. Aren't they? So this is like the custard cream. Mm. Yum. That is nice. Mm. You can't beat a custard cream. Knowing me and I'm carrying that all down here. It's nice for us to get together. Like the food. It was lovely. Like for you, first time, right? I've never experienced an afternoon tea, so it was absolutely amazing. Ladies, it's been a pleasure. It was so nice. Oh. It's been so amazing. Thank I think you. It's the best thing we can hear. It's lovely to hear that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Take care. You too. Thank Bye. you. Lovely. I wish you could see the smile. I'm I'm still, so, I know, it's, it's right there. Awkward, isn't it? Take care. <laughs> Coming back to work today when the room was filled up for the first time after six months, it's been a bit of a pressure on all of us. But I think once the table sat down, we got into our groove, into our mood. It's been amazing. It's been an amazing service. Thank you, ladies. Hope everything was well. Take care. Thank you. After months of uncertainty, the first afternoon tea service has come to an end. A jolly good afternoon and a huge from the bottom of my heart thank you and congratulations on relaunching our afternoon tea this afternoon. The hotel is finally back alive. It is just incredible to see. I was walking in the lobby earlier and I saw Rashid, our concierge, smiling from one ear to the other. He says, Doris, this is how the hotel used to be and it's back. So huge congratulations to all of you. The one man though, I really want to say a huge thank you is you, Nick. You kept the team together. You took us the last couple of weeks, me, the new bee, having to be educated couldn't have done it without you and I'm eternally grateful. But the most beautiful thing was to see many, many smiling faces today. So congratulations and let's have a drink. You're here. Cheers everyone and well done. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> to reopen the Palm Court and have afternoon tea is super special. It's amazing to see the team back with a spring in their step and they're really excited to be back and now it is taking that excitement and just keeping it going now and really pushing the hotel forward. Seeing it alive is just a great feeling and uh, onwards and upwards as, as you say.